Hello there, welcome to day 7, the last day of Micker Treat. If you still don't know what Micker Treat is, and this is the first time that you're clicking on this, I have been making videos for the whole week, all the way up until Halloween, which is today. Happy f***ing Halloween! Let me tell you guys, it has been a journey. And possibly one of the longest weeks of my life, seeing that I've been up every single night about 3 o'clock in the morning editing. But sure, that's beside the point. My topic for the day and the final topic of Micker Treat will be Slenderman. Any of you who don't know who Slenderman actually is, you're one of the lucky ones. Although your luck is about to change because I'm about to tell you about him. For any of you who don't know, Slenderman is a paranormal being derived from English and German folklore. He is usually described as a 10 foot tall skinny man and a passive aggressive child abductor from the 17th century. So now in the 21st century he's known as a tall skinny man, a passive aggressive child abductor who wears a snazzy suit. He did the most frightening fruit. The most frightening fruit? What the fuck is this? I think the most frightening trait that this guy has, or doesn't have, is the fact that he doesn't have a face. The weirdest thing that you can have is that you can have the stare of death from something that doesn't have eyes. You know, it's kind of weird. I think another one of the main traits that uh, Slenderman has is the use of mind control and the use of manipulation. It usually seems that the children and the adults alike that he takes seem to go without any resisting at all. I think one of the weirdest things that he can do is he can take people and they will never be seen again. There is no trace of where that person has actually gone because it's almost like these people are just vanishing out of thin air. Slenderman's a stalker. The way Slenderman approaches people, as I said, he was a passive aggressive person. He's more of a stalker. He's more into the psychological effect. Let's see, if you type in Slenderman into Google, you will find quite a lot of it. Because of the new rise in technology with cameras and video cameras, Slenderman has been spotted quite a lot more than you would expect. One of the most famous sets of paranormal video bombing would probably be the Marble Hornets. The video diary of a guy who claims that he is being haunted and stalked by Slenderman. Slenderman makes a couple of guest appearances in these uh, video diaries that I think stretch for 48 episodes or something. Okay. Apart from the whole cause of severe paranoia and mental illness and abduction of children and adults, you gotta say he's a pretty snazzy dresser. He's obviously the Charlie Sheen of the paranormal world, you know? He's the kind of guy who would call up a girl, have a date with her, have sex with her, and then never call her again. What can you do about it? He wears a suit and tie. Slenderman seems to be like the hipster version of the Grim Reaper. He's like rocking a pair of skinny jeans rather than the hood and the robe and the scythe. You with your black skinny jeans, you are just one pair of lensless glasses and boat shoes away from being the ultimate paranormal swag fag. YOLO. Yeah, that was my best Slenderman impersonation. I would say that this is one of the more lighter perceptions of the scariest thing on the internet since the Numa Numa guy. But, you know, that's the way I roll. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching me doing videos every day for the past week. I've got some good news as well. I had 100 subscribers the other day. That was pretty awesome. All I can really say is thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for enjoying my videos. And thank you guys for subscribing every time because every time you subscribe I get a little warm feeling inside. In celebration for my first 100 subscribers I'm going to let you guys choose a challenge for me. It can be a challenge, it can be a dare, it can be anything that your heart desires that is equal to 100 subscribers because I'm not going to fight a bear. Be creative and be realistic and I will do the challenge or dare for my Friday video on Friday. Like this video if you enjoyed, favorite it if you enjoyed it even more. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to be alerted whenever I make a new video because I'm making new videos at rather points during the day and you might miss it. That was the fastest one ever. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your YouTube adventure and I will see you guys on a Friday.